In this guitar lesson, I'm going to be teaching you three power chord riffs that are slow. Now, you may be wondering, why would you want to learn slow power chord riffs? The number one issue that my students have when they first start learning power chords is to move that shape quickly. The issue of this is a lot of songs that use these power chords generally have really quick transitions in, and it's just too quick for beginners. So in this guitar lesson, we're going to be learning three slow power chord riffs to practice our power chords and get the transitions moving. So the very first track we're going to learn is Wild Thing by the Trogs. So for this, we're going to place our first finger on the fifth fret of the low E. And then we're going to place our little finger or our third finger onto the seventh fret of the A string. And we're going to hit this chord two times. So when we hit this chord with our right hand, we're going to be hitting the E and the A string. So we're going to go one, two. And then we're going to move that chord down a string. Okay, so all we're really doing here it's just hopping our fingers down a string. What we don't want is to move our fingers all the way off, bring it down and put it back on. It's just gonna take a little bit too long, okay? And then when we get down onto the A and the D string, we should be on the same frets. We're gonna play this twice. Okay, so from the beginning, we have got one, two. Jump those fingers down, one, two. There's a slight rhythmic difference here in that on the second chord that we play, it's one, two, rather than one, gap, two. Okay, so one, two, one, two. Then we're gonna move our shape along two frets. So we're gonna be on the seventh fret of the A and the ninth fret of the D. We're gonna play this chord four times. So one, two, three, four. And we're gonna have a gap, and then we're gonna go one, two. Okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two. And again, we're gonna utilize the same technique as when we skip the strings. For when we move frets, we want to play our chord and then we want to move it along and I generally keep my fingers on the string, get to where I need to go and then push down. So now let's play those three chords really slow from the beginning. So one, two, three, four. So once we have played that for the first time, after that it then changes slightly. So we're going to go back to our first chord and play it exactly the same. So one, two, jump down, one, two. But then when we move over to the seventh fret of the A and the ninth fret of the D, now we're just playing it two times. So one, two, and then we're going to jump back over to the fifth fret on the A and seventh fret of the D and we're gonna play it twice, one, two. Okay, so it sounds like this at a slow tempo. Now let's put the two different parts together. One, two, three, four. Okay, and it just loops that second part round and round. So that has been Wild Things by the Trogs. And the next song that we are going to be looking at is Brain Stew by Green Day. So Brain Stew by Green Day is perfect for practicing power chords because there are long gaps in between each of the chords. So for this song, it's actually an E flat standard. I'm just gonna stay in standard tuning, but if you do wanna play along to the original track, then you do have to tune down to E flat standard. So the very first chord is the A power chord. So first finger on the fifth fret of the low E. Then our little finger or our third finger is gonna be on the seventh fret of the A string. On this chord, we're gonna be playing it twice. Okay, so just two quick strums. And then we're gonna move that shape down to the third fret low E and the fifth fret of the A. Again, we're gonna be playing it twice. Okay, so what I recommend you do, just practice between those two chords. And then we're gonna move that shape down one fret. Okay, so on the second fret low E and the fourth fret of the A. Again, we're gonna play it twice. And then we're gonna move it down one fret again. So we're on the first fret on the low E and the third fret of the A, playing it twice. 
I hate say. And then we're going to go to perhaps the easiest power chord of them all. We're going to place our first finger on the second fret of the A and we're going to hit our E and our A string. And you guessed it, we're going to play it twice. Now there is a little bit of a smaller gap between our first fret low E power chord and then our E power chord. So you just need to be wary that's a little bit of a quicker change. Let's go from the beginning. One, two, three, four. And that is pretty much most of the song. There's some added mutes further on in the song, but the main bulk of the song is that power chord progression. So this one's a great one to practice and play to almost all of the song. The next track we're gonna be looking at is Brutal by Olivia Rodrigo. Now this song is a little bit quicker than the other songs that we have learned, but we are learning this because really our power chord shape just keeps moving down one fret. So this makes it actually a fairly easy change despite the speed. So to start off with, we're gonna place our first finger on the seventh fret of our E string. And then we're gonna make our power chord shape by using our third or our little finger on the ninth fret of the A string. We're gonna play this chord five times. And then we're just gonna shift our shape to the left one. So we're now on the sixth fret E and eighth fret A. We're just gonna play this chord once. And then we're gonna shift our shape down one again to the fifth fret E, seventh fret A, and we're gonna play it once. So we're playing seven chords in total five times on the first chord, then one, then one. So one, two, three, four, five, move, move. One, two, three, four, five, move, move. This repeats several times. In total, from the beginning, you'll be playing that eight times. After you play that eight times, it then sticks on the fifth fret low E and seventh fret A, and we're gonna be playing this seven times. <laughs> Then there's gonna be a gap, and then you're gonna play it another seven times. So in total, you're gonna to be playing this chord 14 times for this second section. Then you're gonna move your fingers down one fret, so you're gonna be on the fourth fret E, sixth fret A. You're gonna play this seven times. And then again, you're gonna move it down one fret to the third fret on the E, fifth fret on the A, you're gonna play it seven times. So in total, on this second section, we're gonna play our first chord 14 times, with a gap in between, so seven, gap seven, move it down, play it seven times, move it down, play it seven times. So let's do it together. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Let's play one lot of the intro riff going into the second part. So one, two, three, four. So once you have learned these two parts and got it down, I recommend you look further on for the chorus. So I'm not gonna teach the chorus in this guitar lesson. It's quite quick and there's lots more changes. If you enjoyed this lesson, click the subscribe button, then click the bell. That way you'll be notified each week when I upload a guitar lesson.